Hi, beautiful. How are we today? You look amazing, ravishing. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm teaching you how to do a men's haircut. Now, I know some of you have boyfriends. <laughs> I not so much, but I know some of you do. I know some of you have fathers. I know some of you have brothers. I know some of you females have short hair. I know some of you have females in your life with short hair. So I'm here today to show you how to do a beautiful short haircut, a sort of undercut moment, the kind of haircut that I'm always rocking, the very short sides with a bit of a longer top going on. We're gonna go over it all today. I've showed you guys how to do a long haircut. I've showed you guys how to do hair color. It's time for the men's haircut. And I mean, if you have anything else, you me to do let me know girl i mean I, we can do a bang tutorial we can do everything why don't we just fully transform ourselves while we're locked indoors huh shall we it'll be fun so i'll be saving all my guys out there from an absolute hair disaster if you're a guy watching follow along so first i'll be showing you guys how to do a haircut on miss mini quinn and then i'll show you how to do the same haircut but on me and me doing it myself i'll walk you through both ways it'll be fun and hopefully you can do this haircut to somebody else or on yourself and not completely botch your hair. But of course, some people will still botch their hair and that's okay. Just make sure you film it and make sure you send it to me. Thank you. And with that all said, let's get cutting. Let's do it. All right. I'm excited. You're gonna need some supplies in order to do this haircut. Now, I'm gonna go over a few things that you must have for this, and then we'll go over some additional things I'd highly recommend. First of all, you're gonna definitely need some clippers. This is a cordless one. You don't need something this fancy, but a corded one is fine. Anything that'll work like this and cut your hair is good. You're gonna also need the guards that come with it. They just go right on to the clipper, they snap on, and it's just like that. You're gonna definitely need these, so if you have old clippers, and you can't find these, uh, you need to find them or you need to buy new ones. These are very important in order to do this haircut. That is the most important thing, all right? If you have that, we can work with something. You're gonna also need a comb. You should be able to find these relatively easily, even in the grocery store. You must have one of these. And the last thing you must have is some hair cutting shears. These are vital. Kitchen scissors, ugh, they just don't cut it. I mean, if you really have to use some kitchen scissors or office scissors, like anything around the house kind of scissor, you can do it, but... <laughs> Really not a good idea. You'll probably end up cutting yourself. They don't really cut through hair well. These are good. On to the additional things I highly recommend. A pair of thinning shears. So these are very similar to these ones. However, they have little tiny teeth that cut through your hair and it makes it much easier to blend your haircut. You'll see these come into action later. Clips like this are highly recommended, but not essential. However, they make your life a lot easier. These little metal ones, awesome for short haircuts. And a water bottle to wet down your hair when it gets dry again. Really nice to have, but not essential. And these are the items I recommend having before following this haircut tutorial. And if you don't have any of these tools at home, you can go to your local CVS, Walgreens, your supermarket. Most places have these tools available to buy. And if you would like to purchase some of these items online, I will link a few things below that are more on the relatively inexpensive side. That way you can order them to your home and have them delivered and not leave your house. Okay, let's do this. Welcome Miss Manny Quinn. Oh, she's getting a short haircut today. And I know what you're thinking. Um, Brad, my hair does doesn't look like that. I don't get it. Why is this hair so long? Well, I just wanted to show you how long her hair was to start just because it's more fun that way. And I'm gonna go ahead and just chop off all of her length because it's really satisfying to watch. And that way we have something a little more relatable for you guys to follow at home on your own hair. That's probably not this long. Bye hair. It's so pretty, but it's going. It has to go. It has to go. Oh, let's also put a towel on guys on your necks before you do this. Hair is very itchy or just take a shower after you're done getting a haircut. Welcome to Brad's Barbershop where you get haircuts for free. Beautiful. This is not a, uh, the first step to doing this haircut unless you have hair this length, which is unlikely, but I'm just gonna go ahead and chop the hair off real quick and you can just watch. Oh, it's so fun. Ah, except it's kind of sad because the hair is really nice, but oh well. Bye. All right, you guys, and we are done with the haircut. This is the final look. What do you think? And um, you can try it on yourself at home. Good luck. Now that we have the hair all cut up, looking hacked as hell, we're gonna go to step one, which is sectioning. Now I highly recommend you work on dry hair. That is because if you work on wet hair and you try to use clippers on wet hair, it doesn't work very well. It gets all clogged up. Please make sure when you use clippers, you're doing it on dry hair. Let's do sectioning, shall we? 
let's rake all the hair back first, just like that. So you're gonna look at where the hairline sort of bends off. So typically men's hairlines, even women's, it has that kind of squared off, which is like right there. You're gonna go from right there all the way back, okay? And you're gonna section that, rake it up with your comb, put a clip in there, and you're just gonna clip it up just like that. So super easy. And if you don't have clips for this portion, you can also just use water, but just make sure you're not wetting the sides too much. Kind of dip your hand in the water and wet the top and just like get it out of the way. Again, clips are very useful, but if you don't have them, use water. Now, make sure you're not going up too high. If you go up too high at this point, it's gonna look absolutely ridiculous when you cut it. Now, let's move on to the back. We're gonna carry that line down the back and clip that bit up. You'll see that if you lay the comb on the head, wherever the comb comes off of the head, that's sort of where you wanna drag that line down to. And I'll finish the other side also, that way I can just show you the shape and you can go from there. All right, and you should have something like this once you're finished sectioning. It is just kind of a horseshoe shape going around the perimeter of the hair near the top of the head. From the part of the hairline that starts to square off, you're going back, following it back, down the curve of the head, kind of going a little bit downwards in the back and then back around the other side. This is what it looks like. I'll spin it around for you. All right, that's the hardest part. And as you can see, I ended up wetting the top of my hair. That way I could get it out of the way a little bit easier. And that is the sectioning. Please make sure you have that done correctly. It's very, very important. This will be the structure for your haircut. Now let's move on to the fun part, shaving the head. Now is when the clippers come into play. Let's grab our clippers, plug them in, do whatever you need to do, and get them ready to go. We're gonna first start off a little bit long. We're gonna start off with a three guard. Pop that baby right on there. You're gonna hold the comb in one hand, the clippers in the other. You're gonna nicely comb the hair down, get it all into place, and you're gonna begin. Now what's important with the clippers is to always do this motion. Practice that for me. This motion, up the head and off the head, up the head and off the head, up the head and off the head. Just repeat that as you're cutting. Up the head, off the head. You got it? It's stuck in your head? Good, so we can begin on this side of the head. Make sure the head is up correctly and we're going to go like this. Turn her on and you can begin. <gasps> up the head, off the head. Up the head, off the head. Oh, she's looking like a cheetah now. <laughs> up the head, off the head. 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 Now what that is gonna do is give you this little bit of a beveled edge up here. You see how it's very short right here and it gets longer up here? That's when you know you did it correctly. That way we can later blend in the top a little bit more to the side. And let's continue around the head and do the same thing all over. Up the head, off the head. Super fun, isn't it? Now you should have something that looks a little bit like this or exactly like this. That would be ideal. All right, and now while I'm doing it on my own hair, I like to just feel around in the back and make sure I'm not going up too high. You feel that part where it kind of rounds off on your head? Just don't go above that point. So I like to hold my hand on one side 
at the round of my head and then go up with the clippers with the other hand to make sure I don't go up too high and I'm not completely shaving off the entire back of my head. And make sure just like how I showed you on Miss Maniquin, we're going up the head and off the head, up the head and off the head. Okay, that motion is very important. You're doing great. Stick with me here. All right, step three, we're gonna move on to the two guard. We're gonna pop off the three, move on to the two. The key here is to not go as high as you just went with the three guard. We're making a gradient, so it's gonna go from very short to a bit longer. I'm gonna go up the head about a half an inch off from where we just ended our last line. So we ended the last one up here. We're gonna go about to here with the two guard. And we're gonna carry that all around the head up to here. Still, we're gonna go up the head and come off. Make sure the head's straight and go for it. Great job. Now, you can also check your work by kind of just looking at it from the side and making sure everything is the same length. You can look at it, you can turn the head, look at it, be a hairdresser, you know, really get in there. It looks pretty good to me. That's quite a nice gradient going on. We'll trim up the rest of this stuff after. Now let's move on to the next step, which is the one guard. Things are getting a little short over here, all right? Don't be scared though, it'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be all good, all right? Now with our one guard, we are doing the same thing again, but only going up about the first inch of the hair. And in the back, we're going up the same. So you're gonna follow the line you made in the front all the way around. You're gonna go all the way up the back, all the way up to here with that one guard. And you're still gonna go up the head and off the head but all the way around, just around the top of the ear around the head. Now we're gonna really get into that gradient and make that gradient really beautiful and perfect. This guard is better when you make little strokes like this, all right? Because we're taking off such a little amount of hair at a time, you're gonna wanna be more precise with it. And the clippers will kind of naturally come off the head. And check your work again. That looks very nice to me. That's a nice round. Um, and there's no hairs poking out. It looks really nice and clean and trimmed up, except this part, of course, we're gonna fix after. Now, for the detail work. You can do this if you want. You don't have to. You can also just stop right here and leave it alone. But if you wanna make it really, really nice and kind of more salon quality, you can completely take your guard off and use it just like this. You can also use trimmers, but I know not everybody has that, so I wanna show you the option to use your just your clippers with no guard. You're gonna go around the ears. You can kind of bend the ear down if their ear isn't plastic, like the one I have in front of me. You're gonna go around the ears just so slightly and just clean up that extra hair. And then on the hairline, you can comb the hair forward and then go in front of the comb and just trim off the excess hair. That'll really sharpen up the hairline very nicely and make it a lot more clean. And now for those of you who really wanna risk it all, you can go with no guard on your clippers and just ever so slightly taper the bottom of the hair. That way you get a really short tapered look at the bottom into a little bit more length. So I'm gonna show you that now. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna show you without my clippers on. You're gonna go up and out really quick, up and out. You gotta really flick it or else you're gonna get some weird going on, all right? Up and out really quick, up and out really quick and you'll get that really tight tapering 
right at the edges. This is really scary for me because uh, these mannequins, if you mess up, <laughs> girl, it shows. Am I breathing while I do this? No, I'm not. I am holding my breath. <laughs> this is really scary. This hair is not very forgiving. That's enough risking my luck today. That looks pretty good. And that is some beautiful trim sides we have going on there. Ah, pretty. <laughs> Let's move on to some scissor action. Let's get the hair off. Just whack their face a little bit. This is where the thinning shears are gonna come into play. If you don't have these, you can kind of skip this step. It should be fine. It's really not gonna like make a huge difference, but it would be nice. Now that we have this kind of weird frayed edge going on, we're gonna clean that up a bit. We're gonna take our comb in one hand and our thinning shears in the other hand. We're gonna put the comb underneath the hair. We're gonna go on top and we're just gonna thin that out and blend it in, all right? This is very simple. You just eyeball it, you go with it. You're just taking that ledge off, all right? You can even bring the comb up the hair as you cut. You can really put a little flare on there once you get comfortable with it. And that's much better looking. See how this is right now, this ledge? Let me show you what it looks like after. See how it's more rounded now? Looks much better like that. And just continue around the perimeter of the hair. Make sure you're always eyeballing it, okay? You gotta look at the front of the hair, make sure everything's lined up good, everything's looking good and in place. Go back and forth and look at it, okay? You're looking great, babe. You're looking really, really good here. Let's move on to the top, shall we? This is the fun part and good luck with this. Okay, so take off the clip and brush everything back. Now you're already seeing the style a bit more now. Ooh, yes. Okay, e-boys everywhere are scared of you. Like, hello? We are going to part the hair down the center. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just get it parted. You're gonna take your scissors, whatever you have, you know, your kitchen scissors, <laughs> your whatever scissors you got, and we're gonna go around the head. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a section. You can take a pretty wide section. We're not going for like total precision here. So your first section will be like that. Your next section will be like that. You just wanna section things. It doesn't need to be exactly like how I do it. Just make sure you section in some sort of way. Like that is fine, one, two, three. Let's pull this section out like that and let's cut it off. Okay, you see that angle I have there? Do it exactly like that. Now you can get rid of a lot of length, you can get rid of a little, whatever you're into. Just make sure you're cutting it in kind of a square shape. And now you're gonna take your guide, this is what you call a guide, the first cut you do, and you're gonna bring it back into your next sections and cut at that same exact length from the previous section. That way everything starts to get a little bit longer as you go back because you're dragging the front section to the back. So everything is squared off, just how I'm doing it, and you'll start to get that very nice shape going on that has that kind of pompadour shape going on. And we're just gonna work our way all the way around till we get to the back. And then once we get to the middle of the back, we will separate off that side and then start working from the front of this side and meet the other side. I've gone ahead and cut the first section on this side. Now, once I have the first section cut, I'm gonna take my hand 
and go like this. I'm gonna see if they're the same length. Now, they're looking very similar. They're looking good to me. They look like exactly the same length. Now I can proceed with cutting the rest of the side. And I'm gonna take my guide and just follow it around like we did in the previous section. And make sure you keep the hair nice and wet at this point. We are shaping up, it's looking good. So let's take the hair, comb it all back, and we're almost done, I swear. We're just gonna comb it back, comb up a bit of hair in the center. Just make sure it's all the same length in the middle. If there's any high points, cut that off. Drag it back, comb it up, cut off the high points until you get to the back and you're good, man. Boom! That's the top all cut. Okay, and the back should look something like that. All right, and for this at-home haircut, we're gonna leave it there. We're not gonna go too far, we're not gonna do too much. We're gonna keep it a little bit more simple. And after this is all over, if you want a really good haircut, go to a barber or go to a hairdresser. They'll do a great job for you. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry this off camera and show you guys the results. Are you ready to see the final look? She looks really cute or whatever she identifies as. I don't know. He, she, they, whatever. I don't care. Ready for the final look in three, two, one. Oh my God. Yo, girl, you look hot. Oh my God. Okay, so ignore the hair color because she does have some highlights on this side and it makes it look a little cheetah print, but this is the haircut. Wow, it's so easy and it looks so good. She looks amazing. I am obsessed with this cut. All I did to style was use a flat brush, blow dry it forward, then blow dry it back really quick till it's about 90% dry. And then I took, you know, BDSM Bomb by X Mondo, the thing I use on my hair every day of my life, and I took a little bit of my hands, it's this beautiful iridescent hair balm, and took a bit on my palm, just like this, and on my fingertips, and got all of that texture, really styled it in place, added a little bit of movement in the front. You don't want it to be too perfect. I don't like that whole like blown out pompadour look. It seems dated to me, it's boring, I don't know. I like texture, have fun with it, play with it, add movement. And that is how we got this final look. You can wear it down your face, you can wear it up, you can wear it parted. It's a versatile look. It's a pretty easy haircut and it looks fabulous. This can be for boys, girls, and anything in between. Oh, I'm obsessed. Thank you, Miss Manny Quinn. You look amazing. You actually can survive another day because I love this haircut on you. I thought I was gonna have to get rid of her after this, but I think she's good. I think she can stay. Sasha, you can stay. You can stay, but you gotta get off my set at this point. All right, girl, you gotta get off. I'm so sorry, that was really aggressive. Well, I feel refreshed and renewed after giving myself that haircut. That was probably like the best I ever did at giving myself a haircut, honestly. <laughs> I kind of slayed it, like I'm not gonna lie. And I hope you guys slay it at home on yourself or on your significant other or on your brother or on your dad or on yourself. If you're a female, I don't know. Whatever you wanna do with this, have fun with it. And the most important thing is be confident, but not too confident. But don't go in there like, oh, I'm scared. I'm gonna like, oh. Like, just do it, go for it. It's fun, hair grows back. Men's haircuts grow back very fast in like two weeks, so you'll be fine, okay? It'll be all good, it'll be really fun. And if you guys end up trying this tutorial out on your own head or on somebody else's, please send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram or tag me in a photo. I love to see what you guys did. You guys can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter at BradMondoNYC, and then I have a Snapchat show and a Facebook channel under Brad Mondo. And if you guys would like to purchase any of the X Mondo products in today's video, the links will be below. I showed you guys Electric Rain, our moisture cream and BDSM, my hair balm. That is my ultimate go-to for styling my hair. And make sure you guys follow us on Instagram at Xmodo Hair to stay up with upcoming launches of new products. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.
this is Viper Smoothing Oil. This oil is a combination of all of my favorites. It has bobap oil, argan oil, carrot seed oil. Now, what sets this oil apart is it really penetrates the hair cuticle. It goes deep inside. Instead of just laying on top of the hair and adding a greasy film, it's gonna actually go inside. Help supply nutrition, hydrate, and add a lot of shine. 